If you want to become a hacker or a cloud engineer or pretty much anything in IT, learning Bash, learning this skill will make you awesome. It will take you to the next level, giving you the power to automate things like hacking networks, but faster, creating virtual machines in the cloud, but just faster. Essentially, this will make you a better nerd. And if you can learn to wield this power, it will make you, well, powerful and super valuable to employers. So just learn it, okay? Just learn it. So are you ready to learn Bash? Let's get started. Welcome to episode one of my Bash scripting series, where I'm gonna take you from, hey, what the junk is a Bash script, to knowing and understanding how to do stuff like this. Look at the script. This is a hacking script, by the way. You're gonna learn that. Now first, Bash, what, what even is that? Bash stands for the born again shell. Born again because first, I like to believe that Linux loves Jesus, but also because it's a better version than the one created in 1970. This was made in 1989. Fun fact, the same year I was made. But basically, it's just this, the command line in Linux. It's how we interact with the Linux operating system. And they call it the Bash shell because it kind of wraps itself around the Linux kernel, shielding us from all the scary inner workings of Linux because honestly, we probably couldn't handle it. So the Bash shell is just how we make Linux do things. Make new files, add new users, hack. And if you've seen my Linux for Hackers series, we spend a lot of time talking about the Bash shell, our happy place. So learning how to use it is super powerful. But there's more to Bash. It's also this crazy powerful programming slash scripting language, and we can write scripts that do a bajillion powerful and scary things. Again, if you can learn how to wield this power, nothing can stop you. So enough talking about it. Let's write our first Bash script right now. And you're only going to need two things for this. First, Linux. You gotta have Linux. We'll take care of that here in a second. Also, you'll need some coffee. That's just the rules. So first, let's get our Linux lab environment ready. Thankfully, this is crazy easy thanks to our sponsor, Linode. Linode is a cloud service provider, a place where we can magically deploy Linux computers in the sky in just seconds. So go ahead and fire up your web browser and we'll navigate out to linode.com forward slash network chuck. Now what's cool is if you're new to Linode, you get a $100 credit for 60 days for free. If you're not new, it'll literally cost you about one penny per hour to run your Linode Linux computer. So legit, if you want to practice your bash scripting skills for three hours after this, it's going to cost you what? Three cents. That's why this is my favorite place just to quickly play with Linux. Now, of course, if you already have Linux installed somewhere or you're rocking WSL2 on your Windows computer, you can use that. That's fine. But I'm going to use Linode for my lab. So I'll go and create my computer real quick. Create Linode. I'm going to choose Ubuntu 20, actually 21, the brand new stuff. Throw the sucker in Dallas. Do a shared CPU, make it real cheap. Again, one cent an hour. It's stupid. <laughs> name it, put a password in, and then click create. And just like that, I've got a computer in the cloud I can play with right now. Quick coffee break while it boots up. All right, coffee break over because mine is now running. I'm gonna copy this command so I can connect to it via SSH and then launch my command prompt here in Windows, CMD. Or if you're a Mac or Linux, it'll be terminal. But at that point, why are you accessing something in the cloud? You already have a Linux computer. Come on, get your head on straight anyways. So I'll paste it in, hit enter, accept all fingerprints, put my password in. And boom, Linux computer and the cloud. Time to bash it up. Is that a thing? I, it's a thing now. Now real quick, if at any time this feels kind of overwhelming, don't worry about that. That's totally okay. Take it slow, pause the video, rewind if you have to. And if you're like, hey, I have no idea what's going on, go check out my Linux for Hacker series right here. There, I start with, hey, what even is Linux to get you to this point where you can start doing some crazy bash scripting. But anyways, let's continue. Now right here, we are already inside the bash shell. You made it. But how do we know? Well, we can put a command in right now to find out. Go ahead and type it with me right now. The command will be which, like the word which, nothing crazy. And then we'll do a dollar sign and all caps shell. Which shell? Hit enter, the bash shell of course. Now let's talk about bash scripting. Now bash scripting is not scary. All it is is automating what we're typing right here in the shell. That's it. So real quick, let's try something. Let's, um, let's say hi to our moms. Let's do that. One quick and easy command. Type in echo, echo, echo. echo. hi mom. And that's it. Now. Hit enter, and look at that. You made Linux say hi to your mom. How nice. But now, let's automate that. Let's automate saying hi to our mom. To do that, we're going to write a script. So with me right here in the terminal, type in nano and space. Now, what is nano? Nano is a text editor, and that's all it is. <laughs> Story over. It's like notepad in Windows. Or is it text edit in Mac? Yeah, same thing. It's not the only one, but it's the easiest one, so we're going to use that. So just after nano, we'll name our file. We'll name it hi mom, and then dot S H for shell script and then hit enter and boom, we're editing something in Linux. Now, first thing we got to do, and it's kind of fun up here at the very top, which is where you are right now. It's where your cursor is type in hashtag. And then are you ready? 
<laughs> watch out, then put in an exclamation point. Shebang! <laughs> Literally what it's called. These two characters combined are called a shebang. And then just after that, put in forward slash bin forward slash bash. Now that might look familiar, right? Back when we did which shell, this is what it told us. It told us, hey, it's the bash shell. But now why are we putting that here? Well, for this reason, you see when you write things in Linux, scripts in Linux, sometimes they might be bash scripts, which is what we're doing right here. Other times they might be Python scripts, another programming language, which is amazing if you wanna learn that, check it out right here. Or it could be Go or any number of programming languages. So with our shebang, <laughs> it's really fun to say, you should try it, shebang, we're telling the bash interpreter, what scripting language we want to use for this script. So always, always do that in your scripts. Shebang, just remember that. Cool, with our shebang in place, we can now automate saying hi to our mom. So we'll just type it in, echo, to make our Linux computer say stuff. And then we'll put in quotation marks, hi mom. And that's it. Now notice the cool little coloring it does. When we typed in echo, it turned blue. Hi mom, but dude, I'm colorblind. I have no idea what color that is. Please tell me in the comments so I can know. Not that it will help, but anyways, that's it. You just finished your first bash script. Super hard, right? Now, now we need to save the file, which that's probably the hardest part of writing this. Um, to get out of nano and also save it, we're gonna hit control X on our keyboard. And it's like, oh, 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 hey, hey, do you wanna save that buffer? <laughs> just, uh, just hit Y, because we do wanna save it. That's what it's asking, do you wanna save it? Hit Y, and then it's like, hey, do you want the file name to be this? Are you sure? And we're like, yeah, totally we do. So hit enter and we're good. Now to quickly make sure that we do indeed have a script there that we wrote, hit L or not hit, type in LS, LS just like that and hit enter. There it is, there's our hi mom script, so exciting. So now, how do we run our script? Very, very simple actually. So type in with me right now. Type in bash space and then your script. So hi mom.sh. You ready for this? Here we go, that's it. <laughs> we just ran a bash script. Now here, all we did was automate the greeting, but you know, your mom's gonna say stuff back and then we just, our automation goes out the window. Let's automate a bit more. So let's edit the file once more. We'll do nano, hi mom, dot sh. Here's our beautiful bash script. Let's add a few more things. Um, so we'll say hi mom and we'll give it some time. We'll say sleep three seconds. And then we'll say, uh-huh. And just some filler words to make sure she knows we're listening. Sleep some more. Say, oh wow. <laughs> Sleep some more. I can't believe that. That's probably good enough, right? Conversation over. So, um, oh wait, no, we gotta say bye. Bye, love you too. Okay, now we're good. Control X, hit Y, enter, and we're good. Now let's run the script once more. Little hack, little tip here. Hit the up arrow a few times to bring back your command. Bash hi mom.sh, go and run that sucker. Hi mom. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh wow. I can't believe that. Bye, I love you too. Bam, just like that. We automated talking to your mom. Now she feels loved and we have more time. <laughs> just don't do that on Mother's Day, please. Actually, maybe do that, I don't know. But seriously, all I wanted to hit home with here is that a bash script is just command line commands, that's it. But instead of you entering them one by one, we put it into a script and it runs auto magically. And while this one is crazy simple, it is, they do get insanely fun and insanely complicated to where you can pretty much change the world. Don't hold me to that, but it, maybe, you never know. Now real quick, a couple of things I wanna to touch on with running our bash scripts. Notice that when we wanted to run our script, we had to start with bash. We typed in bash and then our script name. We can also do it like this, check it out. Type it with me here, period, forward slash, and then the name of your script, hi mom.sh. Now, this will not work, let's, but let's do it anyway. Hit enter, this is how you learn. Permission denied, why? Well because it doesn't have permission. Were you paying attention? No, I'm just kidding. But here's what we did here. First of all, all we pretty much did was tell the bash interpreter, bash, hey, run this script. And we had to use the period forward slash because we're like, hey, the script is actually right here. And that's what we're saying when we do that. But when we tried to run it, permission denied. What our hi mom script is missing is the executable permission, the permission to run. He just wants to run. Wow, I did not spell executable right. <laughs> I don't know what that was. There we go. Now we can actually see that. We can see what permission it has. Earlier we typed in the ls command, so let's do it again, ls. But then here we're gonna do a space and then tick or dash l. Go ahead and hit enter on that and something new here. We have our same hi mom shell script right there. There it is. And then over here, we have its permissions. Now don't let this scare you. I know it looks a little scary right now. Like what, what, what the heck is that? That looks weird. It's actually not too crazy, I promise. So first we'll focus on this, the r 
W, and then that last dash or tick. So it looks like this, I'll bring it up here. These right here are what you are allowed to do with this file. You can read the file, you can write to the file, but what we can't do or what you can't do is execute. If you could, this would be an X standing for execute. I'm gonna spell it right this time, kind of. Yeah, I kind of did it, yeah, there we go. It does not have execute permissions. That's Why is that hard to say? Execute permissions, there we go. So let's add it real quick, it's actually really simple. We'll use one command, the ch mod command, and then we'll do a plus x and then the name of our file, hi mom.sh. The ch mod command allows us to change permissions for a file, and then with this option, we're saying plus x, or add the executable permission to that file. That's all we're doing. So let's go ahead and hit enter on that. Enter, and that was it. Uh, now if we do ls-l once more, ls-l, now we got it. Now we have the executable or that x with our read and write. So now we are allowed to not only read it and write it, but we can execute it. Let's try it out. I'm gonna clean it up here by typing in clear, and then I'll just do uh, dot forward slash hi mom dot sh. Bam, it totally runs. So remember that, you'll often hit this when you're writing scripts or dealing with other people's scripts. If you can't execute it like this, it's because it doesn't have permission. Quickly change that permission and you're good to go. Okay, coffee break. That was a lot. You just created a bash script. This might be your first one, so congrats. And it's a big deal. Don't downplay that. Now, real quick before I forget, this is a cloud VM I'm working with, and I've had it up and running for probably about an hour, so uh, a whole penny I've, I've uh, paid for this, but I'm done. So I'm gonna go in here to Linode, click on these little dots up here and say delete. Delete it, and now it's gone and I'm not being charged for it. So anyways, in the coming episodes, we're gonna dive deeper into bash scripting. And in each episode, we're gonna keep building and building and building on those skills until we are bash masters or experts or dudes or something. We'll, we'll figure out the name for it, but you're gonna be awesome at it. Oh, and real quick, have you hacked the YouTube algorithm today? Let's make sure you do. Hit that like button, notification bell, comment, subscribe. We gotta hack YouTube today. Ethically, of course. And yeah, that's all I got. One more coffee break just to say goodbye. And I'll catch you guys next time.